Tag, prompt, and value. Here I have a block, electric motor block. I'm going to double click on it. It's going to ask me which block I want to edit the block definition of. I'll say motor. It opens up my block editor. And here's my block over here. We're going to go up and we're going to do attribute definition. And I went through my attribute modes and I said, okay, I want to lock this position. And what I want to do is I want to give it an attribute tag. The tag is like a unique identifier. It's like a social security number, your driver's license number. It's a unique number for each thing that we're going to track. In this case, I want to put a horsepower number right in the middle of this electric motor. So I'm going to give it a tag, and I could just call it horsepower. But I'm kind of anal since I've done this for a living. There might be more than one horsepowers in various blocks. There could be a horsepower in an engine. There could be a horsepower in this motor. So I'm going to say motor. I always give it the name of the block. That way it helps me track. And then I'll say underscore. Now I'll say horsepower. So I'm actually saying this is the unique name for this thing. There will be no other block now allowed to have an attribute called motor horse, horsepower. The prompt is the question to the user. So when you are inserting this electric motor block into your drawing, it's going to ask the drafter, um, person using AutoCAD, a question. That question in my case is what is the horse horsepower of the motor? Question mark. And notice I like to keep the question short enough to fill to stay within the uh, the prompt window box. I don't like a big long line of things here um, because uh, it's just easier to keep it fairly short. Now the default value if we've always used basically 90% of the time or 80% of the time one horsepower I would put that in. For example if we always use 100 horsepower motors 90% of the time I would just put that in. But a lot of times what we'll do for the val or for the default um, is we'll give the user some idea of what to put in there, and um, you might say uh, you know x x x for a hundred so that they know that the, you know that there's three di three places you want to put in, or um, you could say something like horse power uh, between. One to one thousand, or something like that. That's maybe you don't have any bigger horsepower motors than a thousand. Um, uh, if it was a date, you might show it the format of the date. You might say something like xx slash xx slash, and then four x's to let them know that's the format of the date you want. Um, you know, so in this case, I might just go with something like. Um, you know, three axes depending on how big of a company or horses powered motors we use. And I'll just go three axes. In other words, you can put two axes, you can put three axes, or one X and you know, so you can put it's a five horsepower motor. You can put in there it's a twenty horsepower motor. You can put in there it's a five hundred horsepower motor. All those are acceptable. Uh, and then I'll say okay. And what we're gonna do then is we're gonna place this uh, attribute uh, in our drawing and uh, we're going to place it right in here and uh, and so I actually have an attribute listed in here now. Next I'm going to define another one. Uh, in this case I'm going to define another tag and I'm going to call it motor and I'm going to call it number. So we maybe refer to the number and I said uh, what is the motor 
number. You know, maybe we put a tag on every one. And a default, maybe it's a f it starts with an M all the time, and then we might have five numbers basically in there. And I'm going to say, okay, I want to lock this position because we typically always put our horsepower, I mean, our identification underneath the particular uh, item. So I'm going to say, well, I want it to be over here. Okay. Now, I can also go to properties, just a reminder, I can come into these properties and I can change my justification in this case to middle center. And I'm going to close that and I'm going to take this and turn off and I'm going to place it right in the middle of my circle. And uh, now we've got a couple of these attributes in here. I'll move this out. And um, you know, you don't worry about the tag. The tag is invisible to the user. Only the value we put in here, like 10, is going to show up. And uh, and I might even put other information in here. Uh, for example, I might even put an attribute. I want to put some invisible information. And I'm going to come in here and put motor. And I'm going to put manufacture. And I'll just say uh, man, you fact. Oop manufacture and I won't put anything in the default because I it's who knows what it'll be and uh, I'm gonna set my value here to 1.5 and I'm gonna say okay and I'll place it right down here and uh, I'm gonna do that again I'm gonna align the previous to the previous attribute so they're nice in alignment and I'm gonna go with motor and I'm gonna call this uh, model and the prompt is uh, model of the motor and I'm not going to put a value there I'll make sure it's invisible and I'll say OK and I'll do uh, maybe one more uh, I'm going to keep it invisible I'm going to align it and I'm going to say motor uh, and I'm going to call it ground inspection you know once a year we had to check the grounds on the motors so motor ground inspection uh, inspection uh, date and down here I'll say date date of last ground inspection and I'll put the default in here I'll put the format in which we want to track uh, we might even go say 2000 XX something to that effect and I'll say okay and so we're tracking data even though we're not going to see it now that we have the three critical parts of an attribute these are absolutely fundamental to the entire chapter if you know anything about attributes you must know what a tag is what a prompt is and what the default value is. They're absolutely critical. The tag is a social security number of it. It tracks the data. Nobody sees the tag. The prompt is the question to the CAD user. What information do you want me to track? And the default value is a value you put in there that's used most of the time, or it could be the format of what you're using to put in there. Um, so uh, our prompt uh, our tag prompt and our value are all set up and I'm going to close the block editor and I'm going to save changes and now I have a block uh, with some attributes in it.